to Woody's Kids. Welcome to Woody's Kids. Welcome to Woody's Kids. Hi church families, it's so great to see you again. We hope you had a really lovely Christmas and Happy New Year. It's so good that we've got a new year. Sometimes it's good to have things that change, isn't it? But do you know what? There's something that doesn't change. Do you know what it might be? Well, Jesus says he is the same yesterday, today and forever. That means what he's like is never going to change. We're going to have a song and then we'll have a think about the different names that the Bible says about Jesus. Hi everyone. I think you'll know this song. Um, it's a great song to worship God to. Um, just remembering how great and how big and awesome and strong he is. So let's sing this together. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hands. Again. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hands. And he's higher than a skyscraper. And he's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe. And he's beyond our wildest dreams. And he knows me and he loves me. Since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And he holds us in his hand. He's higher. He's higher than a skyscraper. And he's deeper than a submarine. And he's wider than the universe. And he's beyond my wildest dreams. And he's known me and he's loved me since before the world began. How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Now, I don't know if you've heard any of the different names that the Bible gave Jesus. We heard some when we were talking about Christmas, like Emmanuel, which means God with us, and sometimes he's called the Prince of Peace. But did you know, sometimes Jesus is called the Good Shepherd. Do you know a story about the Good Shepherd? Some of you might have heard the story about the lost sheep, and Jesus told that one to explain how God is like the Good Shepherd to us. And if we went missing, or if we maybe weren't hearing his voice very well, he would come and find us and search for us. And when he found us, he would bring us home and they would have a big party because they were so happy. And God loves us so much. We're like a big family. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Little Worship Company Bible Time. My name's Jo. And I've just been thinking about how amazing it is that God cares about each and every one of us. Hey, that reminds me of a story Jesus once told in the Bible in the book of Matthew chapter 18 about a shepherd who really loves his sheep. Let's take a look in the bag to see what mystery item will appear in the story today. Ooh, ooh a party trumpet. <laughs> Shall we begin? There was once a shepherd who had a hundred sheep and he loved every one of them, just like God loves every one of you. He took care of them all day and night and knew that the safest place for them was close to him, where he could watch over them and protect them and give them what they needed. Every night when the sun went down, the shepherd counted his sheep to make sure they were all there. 
One, two, three, four, five. He would start counting. 45, 46, 47, still going. 72, 73, 74. Gosh, he had a lot of sheep to count. Well, one night he was counting his sheep as usual and he got all the way up to 99. But then he stopped. Something was wrong. One of his sheep was missing. It was Molly. Where had she gone? The shepherd knew that a sheep all by herself out in the night wasn't safe at all. He had to rescue his precious little sheep and bring her back to a safe place. Leaving the other sheep behind, the worried shepherd raced off to find the one that had wandered away. He walked and walked, searching all over the hills in the darkness. He wasn't going to give up until he found his precious sheep. He loved her after all. Then, all of a sudden, he spotted her, huddled up all alone. The shepherd walked through the mud and then over the fence, then through the stream, climbed over the log and then pushed his hands into the thorny bush and scooped his sheep up into his arms and carried her carefully all the way back home. He was full of joy. His little lost sheep was safely back where she belonged close to the one who loved her. In fact, this shepherd was so happy that he called everyone he knew and he shouted, let's have a party, I found my lost sheep. And what a party they had. <coughs> everyone celebrated because what had once been lost was now found. And guess what? Just like the shepherd celebrated when he found his sheep, all of heaven has had a praise party when we choose to love God and live our lives with him. I'd like to set you and your families a little challenge this week. I think if you work together, you can probably find 10 names in the Bible or things that Jesus is called. Do you think that sounds like a good challenge? And do you know what? I would really love your help. We would love you guys to be on our videos. So if you would like to do a prayer, or maybe there's a Bible story you think you and your family could tell, we would love to hear from you. I'll pop my email on the screen, but it's also in the box down below. We'd love to have you part of our videos. We'll see you soon. Bye. Dear God, please make all of us have a nice weekend and make all of us be brave and not be scared of the dark and not have any bad dreams. Amen.